see news. Our top story is the historic rocket launch that will happen later today. Our reporter, Billy, is on the scene. Thank you, man. And now that we are out here at the site in Fort Lauderdale, this is the first Soviet rocket ever used by Americans. It's a great accomplishment in space history, especially since we have this rocket and it's going to the sun. It's going to be the first ever rocket to land on the sun. They are planning to do this by installing an oil rig looking thing to the core of the sun. They're going to deadbolt it to the middle of the sun and make the rocket land on it. There will be one living astronaut going up and his name is Captain Harvey Dane. Captain Dane is from the little unknown country in the middle of the Atlantic called Atlantia. And he's the first Atlantic pilot to ever captain a U.S. rocket. This is a great accomplishment for many people. And soon we're going to have a few interviews with some of the tourists to see what their thoughts are. But before that, let's go ahead and roll over to some previous helicopter footage that was taken earlier. Alright, and here we have one of the workers, an engineer that was on the rocket who originally worked on the structural design. Can you please tell me what special features this rocket has that the previous Russian rockets did not have and why the U.S. decided to use it? Well, the thing is, to get to the sun a little quicker, we added a little bit more gunpowder, if you know what I mean. No, we don't know what you mean. Is that what's in that barrel, sir? Uh, no. I totally believe you. Here, 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 here. And, well, can you please explain to us why there's a baby carved on the top of the rocket? Wait, there's a baby on top of that rocket? We didn't put a baby on top of that rocket. Oh, it must be the baby that is evil. Okay. Sir, are you drunk? No! Don't worry, folks. I'm okay. Alright, guys. And here we have an interview with Mr. Pumpkin Head. I've been told that his first name is Pumpkin, last name Head. Sir, what are your thoughts on this rocket launch? Do you think it's going to be successful? Oh, I really think it's going to be very successful. It's probably going to be the best rocket launch ever. So you think it's going to be extremely good? Well, that's nice to know. Can you explain why you have a pumpkin on your head? Oh, well, when I was a child, I thought it would be cool, so I put it on my head, and it's stuck there forever. So you're saying that the pumpkin is stuck to your head? Yeah. How misfortunate. We will make sure to try to cover your story, but we'll never get back to you. I and, well, now let's go and interview another person. All right, everybody, and here is our next interview. This is Mr. Steve Jobs with the police department, and he is currently escorting a fine young gentleman to his car. So what are your thoughts on this um, rocket launch? Well, it's a very high place for crime. Because there's so many police officers here to try and stop the, uh, you know, any sabotage, there's a lot of crime elsewhere in the town. Somehow, I was able to get this one truck. Hey, sorry to interrupt your interview. Take this guy to your car, too. Ow! What happened? To, what did this one do? He was drunk. At the site of a gunpowder area. Goodness. Anyways. Um, I'm taking these... I guess I'm taking these... these, these now, a word from our sponsor. Alright everybody, this is Farmer McDouglas, and it's time to see the ad of the day. Since you know we're going to the moon, I mean sun, 
We're going to start a sun colony. We're going to make a very big farm on the moon. We're going to buy 500 oil rigs and start the biggest cow farm on the sun. If you would like to join my guys, please donate $500 million each. Thank you. Okay, where am I going? Alright, as you can see, we have the historic rocket in the background, and that is the astronaut. Astronaut! Say something! Hey! Hey, man, what up? I'm probably gonna die when I land on the sun, so just remember me. Will do, man. Will do. <laughs> Shut up, you idiotic baby. I'm putting you up there for a reason. I mean, hey, guys. Um, hope you guys like me and remember me. What a lovely young gentleman in that rocket. And, as you can see in the background, the other person has recently been arrested for drinking on the job near an active gunpowder scene. I got my vinegar! So, um, we'll try to keep you updated on that story. And next, let's go ahead and swap over to the video of just the rocket launching. Here we go. Three, two, one, lift off. See ya! Well, it's time to go. No casualties here. Indeed. No one cares about you! That rocket launch was fantastic. It went according to plan perfectly. Nothing worse could have happened. We are so lucky. They will be arriving at the sun in a few weeks, so we'll be getting news sooner or later. Next up, giants might not be vaccinating their children. Stop! 